Alright guys, today's video will be an unboxing and review of Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano from the Star Wars series Rebels. As you can see, the side of the box, the purple color that indicates this is a Rebels property. So it indicates right there. Purple comes around the side, around the front. Her name is printed in the purple. It continues around the side of the box. On the back, there's a little blurb here about Ahsoka Tano. And on the bottom, you can see that she is number seven in the Star Wars Rebels line of the Black Series. Pretty cool, pretty great box. Love this, the art on the side and on the back. That's a great representation of Ahsoka. There's a little window on top, as we've been seeing with the rest of the series. Nothing really big on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get this bad girl out. <clears throat> to open up, take our warnings, instructions, toss those out of the way. Go ahead and get her out. Mm, come on, focus. Come on, focus. Anyway, there you go. Such a great representation of Ahsoka. I really like this one. Yeah. Uh, Saber number one. Simba number two. This is my first Ahsoka figure. I didn't get the red, the red line version of her. So immediately out of the box, I am super impressed with this sculpt and paint job. The paint apps on her face, the photorealistic painting that has been used for this figure is great. I saw that there were some complaints about the blue color not being accurate. Dude, I don't care. Like, give me whatever blue you want to as long as it's attached to a figure like this. Her paint job, her skin, the orange, looks pretty great. It only really pops up in a couple places, her face, shoulders, hands. The gauntlets looks great. The backs of her gloves, all the little detail on her skirt, um, even on the back carried around the silver detailed silver outlining see there's a little sculpting going on here in some of the sections of her skirt right below her lightsaber hook all the way around to the front just that little bit of detail adds so much depth down to her boots which are great they're super functional and there's even a little bit of paint on the front, on the kneecaps. I like the way that the boot covers the joint down there. It does up to her head, the white lines painted on, her eyes, her mouth, the silver up here, and then the blue. I think it all looks really great. And overall, her paint job is fantastic. This looks like Ahsoka. You'll see the, the, the sculpt does go all the way up underneath her frock, even above the thigh swivel. There's still details sculpted in there with the wrinkles and stuff. The skirt being a soft good, which is fantastic. Done very minimalistic, but it's super stretchy, so any, any positioning that you want to put her in, it gets up out of the way. The sculpt, the paint job, it's great. It's beautiful. It's it's Ahsoka. This head sculpt, it's really going to make it difficult to get any kind of a, an upward look, a downward look. Even if you can get it down, you'll notice her head slowly migrates back up. That's fine. There's a little bit of up and down. No real back and forth either. And her side to side her swivel. It's pretty good. She does have a hinge or a ball up underneath her breastplate. Forward, backward, not much. Her arms do have a swivel. There isn't a butterfly joint there, but the swivel that is there allows for a pretty far reach. Again, there's not a lot 
sculpted around her shoulders so they really allow her to get some good back. Nope. Single jointed elbow that unfortunately brings it up to just past 90. That swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and then back and forth hinge. The other one is an up and down, so that's cool. The legs, double jointed knee, allows for that much back. We've got the swivel thigh, and because of the soft good shirt, it allows a forward kick. Pretty good, 90, actually. That's a great back too. I don't think there's a drop down, but that's cool. Or the thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and then the wow. feet. You get a forward, but not not too bad, not not great. And her backwards is a little bit better. A fancy toe out, forward facing pin for rocking. So she does come with two lightsabers. One is the shorter one that we're used to seeing her with. This is the hilt. And then the longer one has a bent hilt, kind of like Dooku or Saj Ventress. Oh, don't break. There we go. So that's the shorter one. All right, snap this one in. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Bent hilt coming out. I, I really love this design. I think, can't remember if Dooku or Saj Ventress was the first one that I saw with this. There's something about the bent hilt where it just, it gives the the lightsaber movement somehow. I really do love the double lightsabers that she has, but I don't think I'm ever gonna pose her with them hanging, but I'll show you. She has these two hooks on either side. Hang. So that's cool. I really love when characters or figures come with a way to store all their weapons. If they Not a lot to her accessory wise, but she doesn't really need that. I would have loved to see her with her gray cape that shows up in Rebels, but I'll take this. Ahsoka is by far my favorite thing to come from Clone Wars. I'm super happy to finally have a figure of her. I'm super excited to see her show up in Mandalorian. I love the soft goods skirt. Her head sculpt, her body sculpt. She looks ready for battle, ready to kick some ass. By far one of the best characters in Star Wars canon. I loved every moment of her arc in Clone Wars. Super happy to have Ahsoka finally in hand. But I'm happy to have her on the shelf between my Clone Wars characters and between my Rebels characters as a bridge between these two properties that I, I adore so much. Thanks for all, everybody for checking in and watching the video. If you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe and see more, I will definitely be posting uh, more videos as we go so click that subscribe button wow. then you will see them as soon as they are posted um, or not just keep coming back would love to have you guys see more of these unboxings i'm really enjoying them nope. and yeah i appreciate everybody for showing up today love you all like fried chicken <laughs>